Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my top gift giving ideas for Mother's Day or any other special occasions you might have coming up soon. Just to give you guys some new fragrances, the ones I'm gonna talk about are newer fragrances to my collection. So I'll have my other videos linked down below where I give you guys what was my 2022, I believe it was either 2022 or 2021, picks and then i also did a holiday video so we have a lot to go over so let's go ahead and get into the video so the first company i wanted to talk about is spirit pieces when zoe passed away uh, we we buried zoe and this time we decided to cremate lucky and, and keep his ashes and we were going to scatter them but i've heard of people memorializing their loved ones through art so the spirit pieces that i selected was a glass orb and i picked up a few jewelry pieces you guys know i love jewelry so i thought that would be nice to just kind of always carry him with me and i'll have them linked below because again i mean i know it's it's sad but i think that would make an amazing gift i'm gonna do something for dennis because i know he's not gonna do it on his own i wanted to start off with that okay, so one. lightening up the mood other gift giving ideas for mother's day especially i think are bags and you guys know that i have worked with teddy blake in the past these are two bags that they have sent me i had this one for two years now i will say that now this past year is when i really started getting use out of it because we went back into the office the one i use more is actually the black one this one i use not only to the office but i use this one like to go run errands just because it's a little bit more casual to me but this one i've had longer and i just wanted to kind of show you guys how it holds up it's a structured bag this one's the ava nine inch i i love these bags and i'm gonna be purchasing my first one probably during the mother's day sale that they're gonna have run through april 27th i believe through may 14th i'll have the information linked below i also have a coupon code you can't use both but if i post this video up before the sale goes on and you want to save 30 dollars, you can use my code i also like the ava nine inch because to me it's kind of like what's in right now the mini bags but this one's a little more practical but they do have a six inch if you really want those mini bags when i was out i had it like this and that crossbody and someone did come up to me and was like i absolutely love your bag so this is another gift idea all right and then i did have rose forever reach out to me probably like a month ago they wanted to send me a new bouquet but i never got around to getting back to the rep who reached out to me she reached out to me while i was on vacation then i came back and then and then lucky got sick but i did want to shout them out this one is a bouquet that i got last year the flowers still look really good so these do last I would say more than a year this always sits and a lot of my videos you'll see it just sitting over there by my nightstand but like if i got my mom this i would probably fill it up with stuff inside like maybe chocolates if you're thinking of getting it for your spouse i would say maybe if you got the velvet box you could put jewelry i just think these would make a really nice gift okay the next i wanted to go over some watches i don't know anyone who wears watches anymore whether you're an old school watch person or an apple watch person <laughs> i would recommend either or the apple watch that i got was i got it for my birthday as a gift to myself slash a gift from dennis my mom my dad and his wife they gave me a gift card my mom gave me some money and then dennis he chipped in as well and then i put in the rest because i did get the ultra which is the most expensive one i think this would make an amazing gift as well as any watches so i have worked with movement in the past i actually had this one sent to me but i purchased from them myself i have this watch in rose gold and i have three of their braces but i didn't want to feature them because they are pretty small but i do have some of their stacks like i have i think four of their bracelets so movement is another brand if you know someone who enjoys watches they're very nice watches at affordable prices so i'll have them linked down below as well the person you know actually has a watch and you want another gift idea i would say solace this is a company i discovered on my own i kind of wanted to start dressing up my watch so i tried solace and my pretty strap my pretty strap didn't work out so i have an email out to them hopefully 
the return goes smoothly they had a lot of nice styles i was a little disappointed that it didn't fit but solace had like buy two get one free so i picked up this kind of pink marble one for when i wear rose gold i picked up this white one and then this black one they do have like a gold metal one a silver metal one and a rose gold one but again i had gotten nicer styles from my pretty strap they just did not click in I will say that these take a little bit of finessing, but once I got them in, now they go on pretty smoothly. So that's another gift idea. Okay, then next we have body care. I love me some ombre bijou. I shouldn't feature this one because this one's not even around, but I love this one. This is um, her lemon daydream, her strawberry passion, and then my favorite is pink satin sheets. You can um, buy like the clear, wrap that they sell put a little bow you can add different things to it if you got like a strawberry perfume you can kind of wrap it up together or like a cherry one like if you picked up like tom ford's lost cherry or kaali's love fest burning cherry you can wrap that up really nicely with a lotion and pair it up not only is this a nice kind of gift but you'll be supporting a small business and i'm all for supporting small businesses so I did want to mention Ombre Bijou. Hey guys, editing Becky here, AKA Messy Becky. Messy Becky because how could I forget my own cousin's small business? And it's called Sands Shell, and she actually runs this one with her sister and her mom, my aunt, and they do engravings, and they really focus like on nautical themes, but they also have different gifts for like Mother's Day, like these beautiful glass vases that you could personalize so that you can then like maybe put some flowers in and give that for Mother's Day. So I will have all their information linked down below, but again, that is Sand Shells. Okay, and then jewelry. You guys know I love jewelry. I always link Melinda Maria, MJ, I believe MJ still has her jewelry line. I always have her link down below and Ana Luisa and Julia Jewelry. Now I would say if you want your items to get to you on time, go for MJ, Melinda Maria and Ana Luisa. But Julia Jewelry is one I would say if you have a little bit more time, then I would order from them. I have worked with them and I have also purchased my own pieces from them. I've purchased from my sister and my mom, but they do take a little longer. I would say if you plan on picking something up, give yourself three to six weeks. And they say it in the email, it's because they are made to order. So the ring I have on right now is one that Dennis got me. This is one I would recommend for a future gift. But if you're thinking of getting a last minute gift for, again, a spouse or your mom for Mother's Day, I am wearing Melinda Maria necklaces and hoops. Then I have a couple bracelets from Ana Luisa. What's great about Ana Luisa bracelets is not necessarily this one, but this one's kind of big. But this other one, I have two of the chain bracelets, but this one has two links that are like pave. And then this chain bracelet here it has where you can make it larger like it's got several different places where you can link it so then i got this double stack ring i purchased this like one bracelet they sent me one i purchased myself one ring i purchased and one they sent to me as well those are my favorite jewelry companies and again i'll have everything linked down below okay then next we have my top likable fragrances i've said in the past i always like to put a disclaimer i don't think anything is blind buy safe i know people ask me but perfume is so subjective but when it comes to gift giving if this isn't a perfume collector and just someone who you're shopping for i'm going to give you guys the perfumes that i find to be top complimented or just mass appealing so most of these are new 2022 2023 releases Except for the first two I'm gonna talk about, but I think these are very likable scents. I do have the small 20 mils of these. These are two from Aqua de Palma, and we have here Rosa Nobile and Peonia Nobile. I would say out of the two, the Peony scent, which has rose, it's just got a little bit more going on to it. Yeah. These are very likable, musky, fresh, floral fragrances. This one's a little bit more dewy, the Rosa. There's also something a little bit more peppery in the opening. Yeah, there's something tickling my nose more in this one. 
but this one's more watery and dewy. This one's more fresh, clean, think along the lines of like Armani, the Privé collection, the Pivoine Sujo, kind of clean, musky, pink floral scent. You really get the rose and the peony in here. Very like Next, I wanted to go over the Carolina Herrera, the Lucky Charm collection. And I have a video where I go more in depth on each of these fragrances, so I will have that link down below. But there are two in that line that I think are very giftable, very mass appealing. And that is Me First and Fearless and Fabulous. But I think this entire line is very giftable. I think the bottle, the charms, if you go right on the Carolina Herrera site, you can personalize it if you want to save a little bit of money because the bottle's already nice, it already comes with a charm. Macy's has been running their friends and VIP sales where you save 15%. But if you want to like add a charm or personalize it, you can go on the Carolina Herrera site. And then if you want to save a little bit of money, you can go on the Macy's site. But if you want to know more about those two fragrances, check out my video but i think any from the range are very giftable so next we have soleil vibrant by lalique and i have talked about the original soleil by lalique and i think that one's a very giftable one this one comes with a really pretty necklace which i think this would just be very nice to open up i also think this is another likable scent this is gonna be more of a kind of airy citrus vanilla fragrance this one i believe it has ginger mandarin i don't know if it's mandarin or clementine but it's got that kind of orange it's not your citrus like lime or lemon it's more of your citrus like bright and juicy there is something kind of zesty in this one it's got quite a bit of notes but to me if i'm gonna describe it just simple this is a very uplifting bright citrusy vanilla fragrance and the citrus and the vanilla combination makes this one not too like citrusy and then the citrus in here makes the vanilla not too cloyingly sweet so it's a really nice balance it's very airy and light and one that i enjoy in spring and summer again that's soleil vibrance by lalique okay another likable scent this one you can go another route if you want to and i'll mention that next but we have leda 22 auris and this is from stephanie leda she's a beauty youtuber that started her own like perfume. I know some people found it to be pricey, but when you're a small business, you have to account for a lot of the cost, like the shipping, the bottles, this all comes out of you. It's not like mass produced. So I do find that with small businesses, they are a little pricey, but this is a really nice scent. It's pear, it's white floral there's this creaminess to this one i really get the lily of the valley in here but with all the other florals it doesn't come off like vintage or mature because i know lily of the valley can come off a little bit like that it doesn't come off like that in here there's pear in this one so it's juicy it's creamy from like the orris and the sandalwood and when i say buttery don't think of theater butter it's more of the texture of butter this is another kind of likable scent so if you for whatever reason can't get your hand on Leda this does fall in the same line as clean reserves either radiant nectar or the new what's the new one sparkling sugar maybe the pear from radiant nectar but the gourmand touches which they're just touches this isn't a gourmand scent I compare to sparkling sugar this is a very interesting but likable scent so again that is Leda 22 Auris okay another kind of citrusy vanilla we have Carolina Herrera's blush this to me is the most so far likable shoe in my opinion yeah it has that kind of creamy orange musky scent to it if you ever smelled Mont Blanc signature, it kind of falls along the lines of that one. It's very pretty. Less is more. I did overspray this one and it got a little suffocating, but I know not everyone sprays perfume like that. This one I do enjoy when I spray light. And you don't have to spray this one heavy. I do find the Carolina Herrera, the shoes especially, to last. So this is another one. You kind of have to know the person you're shopping for because not everyone's going to like something like this i would say if it's someone who goes out who loves like 
pumps, heels. They might really like this sitting on their vanity. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for someone. If you think they're more simple, I wouldn't get them that. <laughs> okay, then next we have Juliet Has a Gun Magnolia Bliss. And usually when I'm gifting something, I do kind of want, I don't know, I do like the bottles now, but I wouldn't look at this and think to gift this one to someone. But this and another fragrance I'm gonna talk about has made it into my top complimented perfumes. I think I did that video in 2022. This fragrance and one of the other ones I'm gonna talk about, every time I wear either one of these two, I always get a compliment. This one makes my mouth water. Like it just has this juicy fruitiness to it. And it, it's unlike anything I have. So where it's not groundbreaking, it is unique in my collection. And every time I wear it, people always tell me like I smell good. People are like, oh, you smell good? I've had people ask me what I'm wearing. It's not only like you smell good, it's what are you wearing because <laughs> they want to make a note of it so this is one that i think if you want the person to more than likely enjoy the scent this is a really safe one not everyone because again perfume is subjective and there's always going to be someone who doesn't like something but this is a top compliment getter already and again that's juliet has a gun magnolia bliss all right the next we have valea by parfum de mali and let's just spray this on this this is like this is a clean white musky orange blossom scent but the orange blossom in here is more of that bitter orange blossom instead of like your sugary sweet orange blossom which i tend to get more so in oriana which is another Fragrance, I didn't want to include that one. That one I actually still have <laughs> sitting in a declutter box because I've actually had two people tell me they didn't enjoy that scent. So I don't find Oriana to be mass appealing or super likable. So Oriana is a little bit more of that cloyingly sweet orange blossom where it's more of that kind of bitter orange floral that's in here. But I don't want you to think like bitter. It's not a super bitter scent, but that's the orange blossom that i get in here this is very musky clean and this has super longevity this one lasts on my skin till the next day and it lasts on my clothes until i wash them so this one performs really well you can get it at a discounter i would say get it at harrods because it's a kind of well-known retailer and you can get it um cheaper but there are discounters that already have it. So again, that is Valea by Parfums de Mali. All right, and then last is my other top complimented fragrance. And this is probably gonna be my number one pick for giftable perfume of 2023. This one was released in 2022, but this is Prada Paradox. So this is a fragrance that like Magnolia Bliss, I always get a compliment every time I wear it. This one also has orange blossom. And I think like orange blossom and two different types of neroli, there is a slight sugary sweetness. But I don't know what other magic is in here that's just making this one beautiful. Now this is compared to a lot of fragrances out there like My Way, I've heard both Donna Born in Roma and I've heard that other Valentino I can't think of the name that Lady Gaga is the face of it. I've heard people also compare this one to Leap. And Leap is my favorite. If you had me pick one or the other, I'm going to pick Leap. But if you say which one is more likable, it's going to be this one. I think that's the magic that is this one, is that it smells a little bit like all of those without smelling exactly like any of them. And every time I wear this fragrance, this is another one that people ask me. I've also gift, I've gifted this one to someone already. So this is my number one pick if you had to pick up a gift for someone. I think this is great for women of all ages. This one doesn't smell too mature. It also doesn't smell too youthful. This is like, again, my number one. And again, that is Prada Paradox. So those are my top giftable ideas for either Mother's Day or any other special occasion. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys have any of these items? What are your thoughts? 
let's just chat in the comments but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys